Hey guys, Robbie Webster here, and today I'm going to be doing another Blu-ray and DVD collection update. And as you know, before I start these videos, I always like to give a shout out to somebody. And this time around, I'm going to be giving a shout out to a guy whose username is MNM Reviews, and I'm going to leave a link in an annotation and down below. And this guy is kind of cool because he is a fellow Rochesterian. He lives in the same hometown as me and he does basically the same thing as me. I, I think that he basically just sticks to movie related stuff. I do a couple other things. I usually do some some stuff out and about type stuff that's not really related to movies and I do some other vlogging. But he does pretty much exclusively movie stuff as far as I know. Um, I just recently found him a few months ago and he seems like a really cool guy and I enjoy his video so I thought you guys might enjoy checking him out. So anyways, let's get started with this uh, update. First thing I have here is one of my favorite movies. Um, it's most likely my favorite Kevin Costner film. And um, that's, I like Kevin Costner a lot. And this is also my favorite directed film by Clint Eastwood. It is A Perfect World, starring Kevin Costner and Clint Eastwood and directed by Clint Eastwood, obviously. And this is just an awesome movie. I watched it twice very recently and both times I just was totally into it the whole way through. I love it. It's about the the premise of the story is that um, uh, Clint Eastwood plays I think a Texas Ranger I think pretty sure he's a Texas Ranger and or a marshal I can't remember but um, Kevin Costner plays an, uh, a prisoner that escapes from from jail and he is he escapes with his cellmate only because they have to if he escapes he has to let the cellmate come with him obviously. So they're going around looking for a car the night they escape so that they, they can hijack it and just go and run away. And um, while Kevin Costner's character is looking for a car, the other prisoner goes into this house and is like assaulting this woman and her family. So Kevin Costner goes in there and makes sure that he doesn't hurt them. And they end up kind of getting forced into taking the kid as a hostage. So it starts off that the kid's a hostage, but it ends up where Kevin Costner basically kind of becomes a father figure to the kid, and they become very close and basically best friends, and they're they're on the run together pretty much. And this is just an awesome film. It's heartwarming. It has some great action in it, and I really love it. I give this a 9 out of 10. It's almost a perfect film for me. I love it. So glad that they gave it a Blu-ray release. The next thing I have here, this is a recent release that I picked up because I thought it would be, you know, fun to watch with my wife. It was just okay. It was kind of corny, um, but you know, as a for, as a family movie, it was all right. It's um, We Bought a Zoo, and I guess that this is based off of a true story. Uh, this man he lost his wife recently, and he's played by Matt Damon, and his son is getting into trouble in school. He ends up getting expelled, so they decide, you know, we need a fresh start, and they're going to buy a new home. Uh, somewhere in a new school district so that their kid can go to school and he also has a young daughter and he ends up uh, when they're looking through all the properties he ends up seeing a an old broken down zoo and he ends up buying it and they they fix it up so that they can open it and that's what the whole movie is they're trying to like get this zoo up and running and it's a family movie and it's kind of funny at times and kind of really corny and stupid at other times but uh, if you have a family and you, you want to get together and watch something that's wholesome and that doesn't have anything really bad in it, I definitely recommend this. Next movie I have here, this is one of, I think this is, I, I, I'm eventually going to do a video that talks about my top 50 favorite films, but it's so hard for me to put them in order. And I also feel like I'm definitely going to leave something out and that I'm probably going to see something right after I make it, make the video that I'm going to want to put in my top 50. But I'm fairly certain that this is my third favorite film of all time, and it's definitely at least in the top five. It's Seven Samurai. This is my favorite movie that's by Akira Kurosawa, who many people think of as the greatest filmmaker of all time. Uh, a lot I've heard a lot of fil famous filmmakers say that they believed he was the greatest filmmaker of all time, and um, I know that uh, the Star Wars George Lucas gets a lot of his inspiration from this film in particular, and all, along with other Akira Kurosawa films. And this movie is about a, this is the Blu-ray edition, by the way, of Criterion. I already have the DVD that Ryan Chataway sent me, and I love it. I absolutely love it. It's still going to remain in my collection, but this went on sale, and I just had to grab it. Um, it's it's about, uh, a, a, there's a village that keeps getting attacked by bandits, and the bandits are forcing them to give a large portion of their crops to them, and they 
they almost don't have enough to survive. They feel like they're not going to survive if they don't get help and somehow get rid of these bandits that are terrorizing them. So a few of the men go into town and try to find samurai to hire to protect them. And they end up hiring seven samurai. So these samurai go back to the village and they start to, to, to train the, uh, the villagers to fight and they're, they're getting the whole village ready for an attack by this massive group of bandits. Just an awesome film. Absolutely amazing. There are so many things about this movie that just make it absolutely epic. It's like, I believe, close to four hours long. Yeah, it's three, uh, three hours and 27 minutes long. And this is from 1954. Absolutely amazing film. You, This is something that everyone has to see. Um, if you've never seen it, you have to watch it. I, I highly recommend it. The next thing I got here, this is just an awesome steelbook edition of a movie that I thought was pretty darn good. Uh, it's Paul starring uh, Nick Frost and Simon Pegg. I always love it when those two team up in a comedy. And this one turned out pretty good. It's about these nerds that come over to America to go to uh, the Comic-Con in San Diego. And then after Comic-Con, they're on their way to go try to see some of the Area 51 sites. And they end up running into a real alien. And so the alien, they're trying to help the alien and stuff. It's it's crazy and it's very funny. I think the alien is voiced by, um, what's that guy's name? Seth Rogen, I think his name is. Uh, I Sorry, I forget some people's names sometimes. But this Blu-ray, this Blu-ray Steelbook is just amazing looking. Look at this. I, ca I didn't put it in my protective sleeve because I wanted to show you the artwork in this. It's just phenomenal. There's Nick Frost on the inside. I don't want to take the discs out, but I believe Simon Pegg is on the other side. And it's just just such a great release. This is, I'm just gonna, truly going to treasure this in my collection. It's awesome looking Blu-ray Steelbook. And then the next thing I have here is another another Blu-ray steelbook of um, an, another epic movie. Um, it's the 1989 film Batman starring Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson as the Joker. And this is just an awesome epic film. I love it. Um, I like that. I, I prefer, I actually, I, I never thought that I would see another Batman movie that could top this. But I do, I will say, I believe that Dark Knight tops this. Um, this is still right there up with it. Um, this is the best of the Tim Burton films and I really love it. And let me show you what this edition looks like. It's got some cool artwork on the back of Batman and the Joker. And then on the inside, I think it has the Batmobile. Yeah, it does. I'll take the disc out for this one since it's only one disc. You can see the Batmobile in there. Just an awesome release. Anyone who hasn't seen this film, you need to see it. It's amazing. Um, it's really hard to decide whether Jack Nicholson or Heath Ledger played the best Joker. Um, let me know what you guys think. I, I have a hard time saying. I love both. They're both different Jokers. So the next thing I have here is, as always, an Alfred Hitchcock film. I seem to always have an Alfred Hitchcock film in my updates. One day I'm going to run out, though, and I'm going to be sad. It's The Man Who Knew Too Much, starring Jimmy Stewart and Doris Day. And this is about a couple that's on vacation with their son and the son ends up well they end up stumbling into like in the middle of this whole situation where I can't really say too much because I don't want to give away anything but their son gets kidnapped and so they're trying to rescue their son they have certain information that that um, the kidnappers don't want the authorities to get so they're kind of keeping it from the authorities trying to get their son back and very good movie this was very very good I loved it and Jimmy Stewart's awesome as always epic epic uh, Alfred Hitchcock film. And the next thing I have here, this is, uh, I think this is like maybe the first or second film that uh, Ben Affleck directed. Actually, I think he only has directed two feature length films. I could be wrong, but this is Gone Baby Gone, starring his brother Casey Affleck and Morgan Freeman, Ed Harris, and Michelle Monaghan. And this is a great movie. I really loved it. It's about this, uh, this woman who's daughter ends up getting kidnapped and it's like a very high profile case and the some family of the mother ends up hiring Casey Affleck and Michelle Monaghan to uh to investigate it they're like private investigators or investigators they search for missing persons so they get hired to look for this girl and try to find her and I actually ended up uh because the di the case that I bought this with was all messed up when I opened it up it had all that stuff stuck to the spine and I was all out of single disc uh, empty Blu-ray cases. So I have some more now, but at the time I, I took one of the double discs cases and then I took my DVD from over there and just stuck it in here so that it didn't look like an empty spot. 
but I love the ones that have the internal artwork in here. I got that idea from Planet Beer Wagon. He actually conserves space by combining all of his um, DVDs and Blu-rays into one package so that he still can keep both discs, but he doesn't have to waste the space on the shelf. That's a really good idea. I, I have plenty of space right now, but one day I'm going to not have anywhere to put things. and That's probably a really good idea to do. Uh, the next thing I have here is a pretty cool action film. It's really cheesy and corny, but that's what you have to expect, and that's what I like about it. It's uh, the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, Running Man. This movie is about this guy, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger is like, basically in the future, they have this game show, it's called Running Man, and they put um, criminals in there. They The criminals have a chance of winning their freedom if they can survive, but they're basically being hunted by bunch of mercenaries while they're in there and they're trying to run away it's a really cool movie uh Arnold Schwarzenegger is falsely accused of this crime and he's imprisoned and he escapes from prison and then he gets recaptured again and they put him on the show and he you know he's just tearing it up on there it's a really cool action movie I love it the next one I got here this is one I've been wanting to watch for a while because I always hear people talk about it but you know it was it was pretty good. I didn't grow up with it, so that's probably why I don't like it as much. There are certain things that I thought they could have done better. It's Enemy Mine, starring Dennis Quaid and Louis Gossett Jr. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation, but I try my best. And this is about uh, these two civilizations are at war with each other, the humans and these alien type creatures. And uh, when these two people are dogfighting against each other over this planet, they end up both crashing. So. They end up having to get together to try to work together and survive. And it's really kind of cheesy. And if you think about it, they the, the humans are really the bad guys. Because if you listen to the narration in the beginning of the movie, just listen. If you watch it, just listen to it. And you'll see that like the humans basically wouldn't let them live peacefully. They went and attacked them. It's kind of crazy. It's different, different from other movies. But I don't know if they really meant it to be like that or if they just really poorly worded it. And it just made it sound stupid. But you guys can let me know what you think about that. And the next thing I have here is another cheesy action film, but I love it. Um, the first one is my favorite, uh, the RoboCop trilogy. And uh, this is just, an, you know, it, it's about this guy who is a police officer and he's mortally wounded. And they end up preserving him by putting him into like this cybernetic body. So he's kind of part human, part, ro part robot. And he's RoboCop. And it's a very cool action movie, cheesy. I think most people have probably seen it. Um, I like it. So I wanted to get it on Blu-ray. Then the last thing I have here is a classic movie, probably my favorite boxing movie of all time, uh, Rocky, starring Sylvester Stallone. I don't need to say anything about this. This is the Blu-ray Digibook edition, which is pretty cool. It's got some cool artwork on the back, as well as the front. And then the inside has some cool artwork too. As always, these Digibooks are pretty cool. I really don't like the ones where the disc just sits in there. I like the ones where it snaps in because it's more secure. They're always falling out. Anyways, guys, that's it for my Blu-ray and DVD collection update. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching.